Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Uncharted map review, we're going to be covering a map called The Fields. Now, something you guys may have noticed right away, just from the start and even the thumbnail, is that this map is not a survival map. It is actually a PvP map, and more specifically, an arena map. So because of this, uh, we're going to be using different criteria when grading this map. So it got 76 out of 100, which is really not bad. And this map was actually pretty enjoyable, though it did have some weaknesses. So before we go over why this map scored maybe a little lower than it could have, let's go over some of the strengths of the map and why it was actually pretty fun. So first of all, the overall style of this map, even though it's simple, was very pleasant and very peaceful. So even though it is a PvP map, it was very chill and relaxing. And because of this, it allowed you to have a low pressure type of PvP environment. Something else that was really nice about this map, of course because it is an arena map it needs to have weapons, but it did include various types of weapons and higher tier of guns in rare locations. So as you would expect, their higher tier guns are harder to get to and probably are a little more hidden. Something else that was really nice about the map is that the detailing was very decent. It was pretty much average, a little bit better, but it was also very consistent. There was no part of the map that really wasn't detailed, and that's probably due to the fact that it was a small map and it was an arena map, so there are not as many locations and the map maker was able to put in more time into each of the locations. So overall, you know, the detailing was very nice and it really fit the theme of the map as well. Something else that was a nice touch, especially for a arena map, is that the map maker did include a variety of vehicles throughout the map. He did include just one type of vehicle. There were definitely multiple types, multiple colors, and I think they were semi-random in where they spawned and what type they were. And lastly, the one thing that I thought was the main strength of the map is that the overall theme of the map, even though it was simple, was very pleasant and because of it, there was some really nice landscaping and the map was actually pretty beautiful all right so that's pretty much it for the strength of the map so let's move on to some of the weaknesses so as you guys may have noticed, the places this map lost points on were actually quite distributed. So there are no main issues that are like really critical to this map. But of course, it did lose points sort of all around based on various things. So one of the first things and probably the largest that we noticed about this map is that a large part of the map has to do with fields and fighting in a cornfield. The only issue with this is that you can actually turn off the wheat in the cornfield using graphics settings. Now, normally this is going to be fine if people don't do this, but for the people that have graphics issues and maybe need to turn it off, they actually have a huge advantage over everybody else because as you're running through this field, normally you can't see, but if you turn off all the wheat, you can completely see everything. This actually has a pretty easy fix. All you have to do is replace the generated wheat with an object called crop and that'll allow you not to be able to turn it off, and it might even help those with performance issues as well. Another thing I wanted to mention is that there were kind of a limited number of weapon spawns. There was around seven, and really that's not really the main issue. A lot of the official arena maps don't have that many as well, but something else that would have been really helpful with the PvP in the map is if there were more attachments to go along with the weapons. The only attachment that we found throughout the entire map was an 8x scope, which is really good to have, and really you should have an 8x scope or some sort of scope in every single arena map. But if you were able to find grips, other scopes, barrels, other stuff like that, it could really help improve the gameplay and make it a little bit more interesting. Another thing that could see some improvement as well is that the presentation in this map could have been a little bit better. It was obviously pretty decent, it only lost two points, but it could have used a few more screenshots, maybe a video, and the description was pretty minimalistic. So even if you had some sort of lore that you wanted to put behind this town, or even what type of map it was, nowhere on the Steam Workshop page does it actually say what type of map it is. So just smaller things like that could really have improved the presentation of the map. And lastly, something else that would have really improved maybe the PvP on the map, is if there were a few more locations with cover that you could actually fight in. So of course with the theme of the map, uh, it's supposed to be some wide open fields and some barns and stuff like that, but if there were maybe a few more locations that were a little more interesting, that you could also have some cover from enemy fire in, it would have really helped and made it a little bit more interesting as well. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the weaknesses of this map. Obviously there weren't too many, and none of them were really too serious, and most of them could really be fixed quite easily. So anyway guys, of course I've got a link to the map in the description if you guys want to check it out. It is an arena map, and we did play it with 3-4 to four players, so obviously the experiences we had could change a little bit depending on how many more or how many less less players you actually play it with. One last suggestion that I think might be able to help the map, depending if you're playing with less players or not, is if he would have made the circles that close in on the people maybe a little bit smaller. Something that we ran into oftentimes when we were playing this is that there would be a lot of waiting time between where you actually find people and once you're geared up. If you would have had the white lines, you know, sort of closing people in faster, it would have forced some PvP action into the game. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if you want to see some more. I will see you.